Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be some good, yeah. Woo, campers and bushcraft, this is gonna be good. Lord have mercy, I can't wait to get, dig in. This is gonna be some kind of. Has that ever happened to you? It has to me. I'm not ashamed to admit it. And not only with this type of uh, plate, but with others as well. You know, they're so small, and you're trying to do this and all that. You make a move, you lose it. Well, today, I'm going to try to remedy that problem. campers and bush crafters I'm Donnie Pavlini Donnie Pavlini outdoors and today we're gonna to make a project uh, it's gonna gonna to try to create a dual purpose item we're gonna to try to create a small tabletop slash lap table and we're gonna do it with the things that we find out here in the woods so I hope you enjoy this and I really hope it turns out don't know yet we'll see Pretty good supply of these, but I guarantee you it won't be enough. Gang processing time. What we're going to be working on right now is the, uh, the frame. Now, be careful whenever you get green wood and start chopping on it like that. And if you, uh, you make a bad lick, you're going to split your wood. So, I really don't want that to happen. Um, I am going to make some notches, but, but right now, I just want some nice, pretty looking wood. Now, this is a Coglin saw. I don't like the, and nobody does, a little locking mechanism on this thing, but the teeth are incredible. I would compare them to a Corona saw. Really good saw for $10. Sharp as hell. Now, what you want to do is you want to determine uh, the size of your table. Now, what this is going to be, it's sort of a TV tray, like a lap TV tray type tape. And uh, so, I don't want to make it too large, but I definitely want it spacious enough. So, I'm going to look here, and I think that's what I'm going to go with right there. Come here, saw. You're going to need four pieces. Okay, so here are the four pieces we have for our lap table. Notice that these are going to be the long sides, these are going to be the short sides. And now we're going to make a couple of little cuts. We're going to saw about halfway through. Okay, so we got us a little log cabin type notch in here. We'll make sure it's nice and flat, symmetrical. And we're going to continue on. We got to do this to all four sticks. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, to where we've got our notches. Now we want to go ahead and assemble the four pieces of the frame together. We're going to fasten them together with number 30 bank line. So I'm going to get these corners tied up and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so here is our basic frame. Okay, it's the basic frame and it's not square yet or anything. And notice that I put the the tied places on the underside, so I don't want to be looking at a bunch of strings and stuff like that later on. So that's where we are. Now we're going to begin the next phase, 
what we're going to do is we're going to take smaller saplings and tie them here now all throughout this way this is kind of the way that it's going to sit okay so you can see I should have ample working space now I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine times two that's 18 different lashing points if you decide to do this project bear that in mind and uh, because it's going to take a little time got our first little weaver in here and we're going to work on the second Let's see if we can get a good one now it's important to kind of get your your weavers accustomed to being bent so that they don't snap we really don't want these to snap now to do the weave um, I start in the middle and the reason is this is the part where this has the most flex it's more flexible so as it's going through well it's just like weaving a basket over and under Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's where we are right now, just about done. And take your saw, saw them all down neatly. So I'm going to finish this thing up and tidy it up. I'm just running out of daylight. So let's see, just for the hell of it, well, that's not too bad. Let's see, um, I need something like a drink. Here we go. I always drink with one of these. Well, can it still be knocked over? Sure. But that is so much better than just on your knees. And uh, this could also be positioned on some legs to where if you wanted to use it as a work table. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And here we go. Here is our little bushcraft table, if you will. There's a reason why I uh, even took the time to do this. And uh, I don't mind saying it. Uh, I suffer with a little knee trouble and uh, a little sciatica and uh, lower back problems and getting down to the ground sometimes uh, I mean I can do it but the next day I pay dearly for it um, so this is a way that I can come out here and do what I like to do and be able to live to tell about it the next day with a smile on my face so there we go here's our little bushcraft table cut a pine stick put down below for a brace tie the stick between those two pine trees and uh, it's stable enough to do what I need to do well gang thank you for coming out and hanging out with me for this little project I've got a piece of gear that I picked up today before I came out here that I'm gonna be able to use with this so I'm pretty pumped about it Hope you join me from Donnie Pavlini Outdoors. Wishing you all the best. Have yourself one hell of a good one. Take care.